Well, researchers at the Salk Institute saying when you eat might be as important as what you eat. And we have a Salk scientist who's leading this research, Dr. Emily Manugian, studying circadian rhythm, uh, the timing of eating. I think this is fascinating. Uh, thank you for joining us this yeah, morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, so, okay, tell us what you've discovered. I mean, so many people have their resolutions. What should we be doing? When should we be eating? Yeah, so the timing of when you eat really does have a big impact on your health. And that's because of circadian rhythms, okay. which just means about a day. Um, and the thing is, we are physically a different version of ourselves at different times of day. When ah. you're sleeping, your body is working very differently. You metabolize food very differently than if you're in the middle of the day being very active. Okay. And so when you eat, changes how your body interprets that food and how it uses that food. And if you get it at the right time of day when you're active and needing calories, mm -hmm. that's great, everything's wonderful, but when you eat when your body isn't expecting it and needs to rest, it doesn't process it properly oh. and that can lead to problems over time. Wow, okay, so for a normal person, I don't want to use us <laughs> as an example because our hours are weird, right. but for a normal person who might be busy from, let's say, nine to five, <laughs> yeah. what do you suggest? How should they kind of plan their meals? Yeah, so the work that we've done is focused as what we call time-restricted eating, where mm -hmm regardless of what other else you're doing as far as your diet goes and obviously what and how much you eat is important but just eating within about an 8 to 10 hour window so something okay. like 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. or okay. 8 p.m. to 6 p.m. and allowing that time for your body to rest outside of that window mm -hmm. and be able to rejuvenate and take that time to actually rest and not stimulate your brain while you're sleeping and all those other things can lead to a wide variety of health benefits. So does that mean before nine, for example, you know, don't have that coffee, just kind of limit and not have anything? Yeah, so outside of that window, we recommend water only. If you need to have a, a black coffee, that's probably one of the least lesser bad things to do, um, or like a cup of tea or right. something, but generally we would say water only. Yeah. Okay, just to kick off the day that way. Yeah. I apologize, speaking of water, no as I'm coughing over here, thank you for, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll ask you one more question yeah. while you talk about that. You mentioned the circadian rhythm, and we all kind of have similar rhythms, is that what your study is kind of showing? Yeah, so we've known for quite a long time that not just humans, every living thing has mm -hmm. approximately a 24-hour rhythm to really adjust to our oscillating world, right? We have day and night and temperatures change and other animals, everything changes mm -hmm. with a 24 hour day. And so our circadian rhythms are a way to coordinate everything with the environment right. and also within our bodies. It's pretty much keeping everything in the right place at the right time. See, your body knows, it's smart. Your body knows. Right? <laughs> I love that. Absolutely. And I love that you're doing this research. <laughs> uh, the Salk Institute, we've covered so many things like climate change and so many other uh, great studies coming out yeah. of there. And this is another one that's here local. <laughs> yeah. I love that, that's really cool. Yeah. You have a nice <laughs> office too. <laughs> yes, it's a very nice location to <laughs> one be. One of the best locations, yeah. I think, in San Diego. Uh, yeah. Thank you for explaining it to us. Yeah. And real quick, I know we have like 30 seconds left, but as far as if someone's trying to set up kind of a plan for yeah. even today, uh, what's a quick tip that you might be able to give them? Yeah, so I think if you're trying to say, when is the best time for me to eat, because mm -hmm. it depends on what your schedule is, is to say, wait probably at least about an hour after you wake up okay. and try to stop eating at least three hours before you go to bed. And this can have big impacts on glucose regulation, so pre-diabetes or diabetes, we've mm -hmm. shown this can help decreasing blood pressure, cholesterol, so you can be a healthier version mm -hmm. of yourself just by eating at the right time okay. of day. Dr. Manugan, thank you so much. Thank Good you to for see having you. me. And we'll be right back.